So I'm going to sew up the center seam of my dress and um, I really don't want there to be too much bulk here. I think if I do a flat felled seam with all of the layers, it's going to add up to a lot. Um, even though that's like a good option for having a flat controlled seam. What I think I'm going to do for the seam is just sew it up um, doing a straight seam and then doing a turn and stitch on either side to control some of this extra volume from the front pockets. So I am going to line it up so that my seams match here. That's really important to me. So when I fold it over, It's not so important that they match right at the edge of the seam allowance, but it's more important that they match wherever the um, seam allowance half inch line is. So I'm going to make sure when I hold it open that those seams look like they're right on top of each other, and then I can feel comfortable pinning it there. I'm also going to go ahead and pin up from the garment. and down. Honestly, my seams are not lining up. There's like a little bit of a discrepancy at the bottom of the pocket bag. That's fine because it's on the interior, not the exterior, so I'm not concerned about it. Um, but I am noticing like something did not line up. I'm actually having the same issue at the top. Okay, there's a little discrepancy there. I'll address it later. But now I can go ahead and sew my straight half inch seam. <laughs> Now that my seam is sewn, so I just want to check it. Oh no, I have a little bit of puckering. I'll go in and fix that. Um, I am going to go ahead and press this open at the iron. So I'm going to press it open and flat at the iron. And what I'm going to do is turn the seam allowance in on each side 
because I'm going to be stitching that. It's going to get caught at the top of the garment and at the bottom to kind of hold that seam in place. Um, but that'll be the best way of finishing this without adding too much bulk on either side of the garment.